Hey friends, welcome to an exciting VFX tutorial. Hey, welcome to SFI VFX and I'm your host Prashant. You can call me Prezi to be short. This channel is about tutorials on visual effects, motion graphics and editing. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hope you guys like the intro of my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to teach you how to create fingerprint scanner effect in After Effects. So let's watch the preview. So with that being watched and now I'm going to make this tutorial into two parts. One is for the um, elements that you saw, the scanning parts and the footages and the next part is for the uh, masking and all those to composite inside the footage. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is open up After Effects and you need to download this image. It's a PNG image that you can get in Google. I found it in Google Images. So it's a PNG image. So you can get it at any color you want. I specifically like blue, so I downloaded this color. So now we're gonna create a new composition with settings of HDV bar, HDTV, sand 20 pixels, 29.97 frames per second. And I'll let the background be black. Uh, I can call the name as Element, element. Okay, so that done, and we're gonna drag this image into this composition, and hit S on the keyboard to uh, get the scaling options, and you can scale up to whatever you want. I'm gonna keep till 28, so this looks cool. And the next thing you need to do is create, uh, right click and go to new, and Go to shape layer and select a rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. And we're gonna make the stroke with the zero and the fill. You can get a color of the same color as it is in the print fingerprint. Okay, so we can um, we can sh change the size of it a little bit. It looks good, and the position and drag this over here, and yeah, this would help. And you're gonna need, and you hit P in the keyboard to get up the position option, and you're gonna click the stopwatch to create a new keyframe, and go um, to two seconds later and just slide this y-axis down to clear okay it looks fine and so this will create the part that access the scanning part so and now we're gonna do is select the image and select the rectangle tool and create a mask over here and in the mask options, you're gonna hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe over here. And you're gonna select this image and selection tool and with pressing shift on your keyboard. Oh, sorry. With pressing shift on your keyboard, you're gonna drag this up. Oh, wait. You're gonna drag this up a bit, something like that. Okay, and over here, just please uh, make sure that you select this and not something like this. It must not come like this. You should select this image 
and go to the selection tool and hold on shift and select that and go on two seconds later where the shape layer got and over here so we're gonna drag again click on this image and hold on shift and drag this down to where the shape layer stopped and and you're gonna click it click the image again and holding on shift mm -hmm. yeah something like that uh, so let us preview it so you get something like that so that's cool so that gives you the scanning effect or else you uh, hit the position and friend starting you can give it from here so that it looks awesome yeah and what I'm gonna do is hit U the shape layer and uh, U in the image and select and control C and go to f three second and paste the keyframe over here and do the same thing for the mask. Hit the stop with the keyframe and control C and go to three seconds control V so what this basically does is a reverse effect to get a scan a scanning effect or you can drag this to one second if you want a second a gap of one second so let me do this okay and you're gonna copy the first second and control V and this keyframe control C and go to the one and control V so you have something nice cool scanning effect over here and with this being done I'm going to right click and new create a text and let me in the text as scanning oh, that looks good and I'm gonna Size this down a bit and place it over here. Mm, some and we're gonna need this when it actually enters a second. So let me adjust it like that. And what I'm gonna do is create a type on effect. And so for that, you need to go to click on the scale text and go to rectangle tool and create a mask around the scanning part so as we did in this image to click on this mask path we're gonna, we're gonna hit shift and move this to the left and like that like this to the left okay that's cool and we're gonna go to second I mean in the second hit the text and hold on shift and drag this to the end and this one oh sorry and this one too maybe this one yeah, that's pretty awesome. So that will create something like this. Maybe I'll just turn the resolution to a half for you to, for your hand to be quick. So, and the third second, you need to do the same thing as we did for the images and the shape layer, control C, control V. this one and control C and go to the fourth second control V so this gives you the scanning 
again goes back and again comes and you can do it till however you want I'm going to stop till the fourth second okay so as everything stops at the fourth second you, what you're going to need is um, select the scanning and the shape layer and hit T on the keyboard to give up the opacity and I'm going to go to a uh, bit earlier than zero four three, and I'm gonna go to this place and at the keyframe and move a few frames forward and uh, and set another keyframe. Now we're gonna go back to the this keyframe and set the opacity to zero so that no, I think I did the reverse thing. Go to the fourth thing and give zero. Yeah, I was correct before. Oh, so and and copy this opacity C and paste it here so that this also gets faded. Control give T. So these fix are here. We're gonna drag this right there, and you see they're gone, but. I don't need the scanning to be gone. So I'm gonna delete for the scanning part. And yeah. So that's how you do this thing. And next thing I'm gonna do is a new shape layer and oh sorry. And next thing I'm gonna do is new solid and create a solid of color blue something like that and create a mask for this too uh, around the size of like that and you're gonna hit the mat you and you're gonna duplicate the mask and in the mode you're gonna subtract the f I mean you're gonna add the first one and subtract the second one and the mask one you're gonna feather it up like that in the mask tool, you're gonna feather it up inside so that it creates some effects like that. So this looks pretty awesome. Let's scale it up a very big. And yeah. And next thing I'm gonna do is place the scanning over the blue thing and so, so that gives another realistic look. So and and give effect transition initial blind and transition complete to around yeah this looks fine and 16 and a width to 12 and no need of feathering the direction around 90 degree so to create this effect So that's how I did this thing and I'm gonna go to consolidate and give the mask feather to around a very really less value for this uh, even this one yeah so this looks good you can go over uh, around the rectangle tool instead of uh, the rectangle tool if you want but I like rectangle tool so so after this we're gonna go to 6 second and turn the opacity down so I'm gonna hit T and give the opacity to 100 and next few frames we're turning down the opacity to 0 and so this goes and we're going to create a new shape layer call this uh, um, and you can call this a transition I don't know what to give the best name but um, yeah we'll create a rectangle tool over the border and 
turn the fill, turn off the fill for here, and a stroke with uh, to uh, eight, yeah, eight fine, and you're gonna go to rectangle one, stroke one, and over here you're gonna create a dash. The dashes you can give it a limit. Oh well, let it be. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the stopwatch and go f and give it a value around 24 and I'll go a few frames forward and give it a value around. No, mm, yeah. 289 looks good mm, yeah 291 that looks good so this turns up to that and then we're gonna go to rectangle path one and the stopwatch size to reduce it down to zero and you're gonna find the next stopwatch over here where you did and you're gonna go to size and resize it towards the shape and yeah so that will give you an awesome effect something like that yeah that's pretty quick hmm oh yeah and you're gonna copy this and ease them or you can go to keyframe assistant easy ease and I'm going to go to graph editor and adjust the speed of it however you really like. Yeah, so that's it. And so that's how you do this thing. This comes like that. And finally, a text giving access granted. And give a green color for this and size it up a bit. Okay, so right now we're gonna hit T on this base and this access granted text and hit the stopwatch and go few frames it's zero few frames hundred few frames zero few frames hundred few frames zero few frames hundred oh. frames zero few frames hundred two frames zero frames hundred something like that so that will give this effect and that's it so let us preview it. So this gives a scanning effect over here and this thing and access granted. So that's it guys. So that's what we did today. And we're gonna take this composition and paste it in a footage and it'll be on the next video. Hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it and you have learned something new and please don't forget to subscribe and follow our Facebook page and I'll meet you in another tutorial. Bye.